Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna to be another craft day. For a while now, I've been wanting to make one of those really cute little um, pumpkins that's made out of jar rings. And I just let the fall season get past me. Um, my kids have been really busy in school and I just ran out of time. And so now I have all these jar rings that I purchased and I was trying to think of something I could use them for rather than waiting a whole year to use the pumpkin one, which I guess, it is just mid-October, so I could make it and still use it, but I'm kind of getting into that Christmas spirit. So this is what I decided to make. Um, I'm going to make a snowman. Let me show you what I purchased. So I got these at Walmart. And they are universal metal lids and rings. And they come with 12 inside. I think they were only like a couple dollars so super cheap it just comes with the ring and the little um, insert and then I also got some white spray paint and originally I bought this little styrofoam ball and I bought this little ornament at Hobby Lobby. It's just a little hat. And so I was gonna put it on top of the ball. But what I found is that the styrofoam ball, so the idea is you use these rings and you wrap them around and you just tie them together with string and then that's part of your snowman body. And you do two layers of this and then on the top you put your white um, head. Well, what I realized is this is a little big for a snowman head. So I went back to get a new um, styrofoam ball that was smaller for the head and I found this. And they had these at Hobby Lobby and they're just like these little snowballs that you just sit out for decorations. They had all different sizes of them. And when I tried it out it seems like it's pretty much the perfect size and the cool thing about it is it lights up so my plan is isn't that beautiful so my plan is um, to get the snowman body finished put this on for the head and then the little hat will fit right on top and I'm also going to put a string of lights inside the snowman so the entire thing will light up. So let's see how it turns out. The spray paint that I'm using is this Krylon chalky finish. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. As you can see, it was $8.99 and I used a 40% off coupon. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take the rings, and I think I made about 14. Let's see how many I've got. I think I have 14 for the top and the bottom. And I'll show you a picture of the one that I am wanting to make. So this is the one that I found on Pinterest that gave me the idea. And actually it is a little bigger on the bottom.
So at first I was going to use this little orange button for the nose, but the more I looked at it on the snowman, it just looked like a piggy nose to me. So I went back to Hobby Lobby and I got these little dowel rods. And I also got a package of pipe cleaners. And I'm going to see if I can create something to use for the nose that looks more like a carrot. So we'll see what I can do. I just put a little bit of hot glue in there just to hold it in place so that it's easier to work with. I'm going to put some on this other side also. So that it doesn't want to come apart so easily. Now, obviously, I want this lower part of the carrot to be a little smaller than the top part. So, I think, actually, I'm going to come back on this. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Hmm, I kind of wish I hadn't gone down that side now. So I'm going to pull that back off. There we go. I'm going to use another one. So I covered up the end and I think that this part's pretty much thick enough. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right here. Me and hot glue, our relationship is kind of funny. I, I have a real habit of burning the snot out of myself on that thing. Okay, so. so I want to get a little thicker here as we go up. Maybe start to go around like three times just to make the carrot a little thinner at the bottom. I don't know. Maybe one more pipe cleaner up here at the top just to thicken up the top part of the carrot. <clears throat> I'm kind of making this up as I go along. Okay. I think that's a pretty cute little carrot. So let's see if we can get this hot glued on there and if it'll stay, that's gonna be the trick. So let's see what we can do. Hold it on there long enough to make sure it glues on real good. Oh my gosh, I think that looks adorable. OK, 
Okay. So now I just need to add the lights and we can see what he's going to look like. 